And joining us live from Washington, D.C. on the broadcast, we have with us Jamil N. Jafar, the founder and executive director of the National Security Institute. Welcome to the show, Mr. Jafar. Thanks for having me. Right, Mr. Jafar, this is Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's first state visit to the United States of America. Talk to us about how the visit highlights the trajectory of relations between India and the United States of America at the moment. Well, of course, the United States-India relationship is one of the most important strategic relationships for the United States uh, in the entire world. India is one of the few countries uh, that, that's labeled as a special label in the U.S. government as a major non-NATO ally. Uh, which means we have special defense cooperation uh, with the Indian government. Uh, beyond that, uh, $157 billion in bilateral trade, 4 million Indians living in the United States of America, 200,000 students. It's, it's a massive economic relationship. And of course, strategically, uh, it's critical for the United States as it turns to the Indo-Pacific and focuses on that region and the importance of the quad relationship of which India is right at the heart. Right, Mr. Jaffer, you spoke about the economic ties between uh, New Delhi and Washington, D.C., but there also seems to be emphasis on educational collaboration between India and the U.S. Now, just a short while ago, while attending the National Science Foundation, Prime Minister Modi emphasized on making this decade a tech de decade. Talk to us more on that. Well, obviously, India has one of the most vibrant tech economies in the globe, and the United States has this, this notion of startups and, and the Silicon Valley built uh, here in California and across the country, huge amounts of investments in startups, creating that relationship where American investors are putting money into Indian companies and there's that collaboration across the Pacific can really create some magic, uh, both bringing capital to the Indian market and bringing Indian technology rapidly into the American environment as well. There's a lot that can be done there. And in particular, in the cybersecurity domain, there are real opportunities for the two nations to collaborate closely together as we look around the globe at common challenges that we face. All right, Mr. Jaffer, last question to you before I let you go. Now, uh, there's also a convergence of opinion on China between uh, New Delhi and Washington, D.C., while divergence on Russia. Talk to us about uh, how these two factors will impact the growing relations between uh, New Delhi and Washington, D.C. Well, look, obviously, uh, India has a long-standing relationship with Russia, uh, but it's a relationship that has always had a f its own challenges, as has the relationship with, with China. And so it's important the United States identify uh, the common goals that we have with India in the region and in the globe as well. There's a lot more commonality than there is in difference between our national interests. And I think it's, it's a recognition today of India's ro responsibility and role in the Indo-Pacific to be a leading nation, uh, to be that, that, that key power in the region that allies with the United States and works together with other nations in the Quad as well, Australia and Japan. There's a lot of opportunity there, both economically, politically, and strategically for both our nations. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Mr. Jaffer, for joining us in Beyond and sharing your insights with us. We'll, of course, be tracking this very closely right here. Thanks for having me.